Where's camera one? Right here. everybody, Dr. Melody here with Fit Plus Faith. So happy to be coming to you with our encore presentation today. We did this presentation last week and it did not work and so you weren't actually able to see everything we did. So we're doing an encore presentation. Today we're gonna to be talking about Romans chapter eight and we're gonna be talking about you are enough. That is the message of Romans chapter eight, understanding the fullness of God's love for you. And then we're gonna be headed to the kitchen and we'll be doing spaghetti squash, one of my favorite dishes, three different ways. So I'll be showing that to you as well. So let me go ahead and while you're hopping on, let's see, hey Brittany, super great to see you here, Brittany. These are three things that you guys can be doing right now while you're hopping on it is going to help us so much to get this message out about what we're doing so please be awesome and do one of these three or all of these three things first thing go ahead and share this out right now hit the share button and you can tag somebody in it if you know anybody that would you'd want to hop on with you live tag somebody share it out and then the more you engage the more you engage with your comments, I will do my best to keep up with them as much as I can. And uh, with you know loving and liking, all of those things are gonna help the Facebook algorithm actually get bigger and, uh, and to spread the message more. So three things for you to be awesome, all right? It's so great to already have you here. Again, my name is Dr. Melody Stevens. I'm the founder of Fit Plus Faith, and this is the Feeding His Temple Body and Soul Facebook Live Show episode number two. So, hi Pam, hi Brittany. Let me see what else we've got here. I'm gonna see your comments off on a different screen, okay? So sometimes I'll be looking off to a different screen so that I can see your comments and be engaging in them. And uh, hey Leslie, great to see you as well. And let's see, how can I, see if I can go back to this other feed here. Back to videos, oh lost my video for a second dang it sometimes technology can get a little obnoxious <laughs> it can be super great but it can still get a little obnoxious sometimes so we'll see if i can get back to our video here but in the meantime would love to know where you're coming in from and definitely encouraging you to still be involved in those three different things sharing tagging and engaging as much as possible all right let me head back to the videos right here and then see if I can see your comments. I'd love to know who you are, where you're coming in from. It was so wonderful last week to, uh, to see who was here for our very first Encore show. And, oh, here we go. Okay, good deal. Okay, perfect. All right, hey Julie, great to see you here as well. Hey Lynn, all right. Hey Wendy, great to see you ladies here. So I do apologize that I have to look off to the side to see your comments for a second. But um, hey, Kat, great to see you as well. Wonderful. Hey, Taylor, love it, love it, love it. Love seeing all my girls coming in from our Healthy Christian Women Facebook group. So let's get started. Today's message is I am enough. This is the message that you are loved so immensely right now. You are loved today by God in the same intensity and the same amount that he will ever love you. He loves you the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. No matter what you do, no matter what you've done, no matter what you will do, he will not stop loving you. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're going into Romans chapter eight. It is my favorite chapter and book in the entire Bible. And so let me, hey Julie, love, love, love. So. Let me pull that up for you guys and we'll go ahead and go through it. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 and 39. It says, For I am convinced that neither height nor depth, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, sorry, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing nothing is able to separate us from the love that God has for us. 
That's what's so amazing. That's such an incredible message for us to understand is how much we are loved, how much we are loved, that no matter where we go, no matter what we do, God will never stop pursuing us and never stop loving us. So amazing. Oh man, one of my favorites. If you have a chance, go to your Bible, read Romans chapter eight in its totality. It is so rich. Some of my most favorite verses in the whole Bible all come from that chapter. And this is just a little, just a little snapshot that nothing can separate us from the love of God. You are enough right now. No matter what you have ever done or will do or currently, no matter how you feel about yourself, man, if it's not measuring up to how God sees you and how God loves you, then it's time for you to open yourself to receiving that amount of love. Sometimes it's really hard for us to, to just receive a free gift. It's hard for us to understand, you know, in our imperfections, in our weaknesses, how can it be that we're, we're loved that much? Hey, Caitlin, great to see you here too. And it's hard sometimes for us just to accept it. But that is the truth. That is the love that God has for you. And so meditate on these verses. Spend some quiet time later this week or over the weekend just reading through this and reading through everything that Paul writes to us in, in the book of Romans. Everything he has learned throughout his whole ministry, it's so rich. But the overwhelming message is how much God loves you but we have to receive that love sometimes as well. We have to open ourselves to receive that love. And when you do, you will be opened up to immeasurable joy, immeasurable acceptance. And oh, it's just God's love is so good and he will never, never stop pursuing you. He loves you so much. So that is our message to think about today and over the weekend until we meet again next week. This is something for you to be meditating on, praying on, maybe even challenging you to try to memorize it so that it's hidden in your heart. So it's hidden in your heart so that the Holy Spirit will remind you of it when you most need it. So beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the kitchen. All right. Still trying to make sure that I can see all of your comments enough. There we go. And then I'm going to head over to the kitchen. I've got a fun little video for you. And then we'll dig in to our spaghetti squash. So while I transition, watch one of my favorite things, some hilarious and adorable little furry cats. All right, so watch some cute kittens, and I'll meet you right in the kitchen in just a few seconds. Okay, so let's head over. I'm going to need the computer. pretty good um, I guess that's just gonna show in the background but when we're ready then we hit live and I'll stand right here can you stand in front of it yeah uh, no I can't because because um, of what I need to see I'm kind of way okay. off to the side okay okay yeah it is it's okay 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 go ahead go ahead right now live hit live on transition okay. ready mm -hmm. three two one all right here we are in the kitchen if you could see what I see, I do apologize. You're gonna see I've got a camera set up over here because we might be showing what we're doing on the stove top. But we're gonna go ahead and dive in to our spaghetti squash. Now, for those of you that have never cooked spaghetti squash before, 
there's a lot of misconceptions about what it is and about what it's gonna taste like and then they don't even know if it's fully cooked right or not. That's like there's a lot of people get it wrong and then they don't like it, but it's only because they didn't cook it right. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So I've got a spaghetti squash here. Now, while I'm doing this, my hubby is helping me behind the scenes, so thank you so much. And if you could find a way, babe, can you do the split screen? I mean, can you do the picture in picture so that we can show the main hands on the spaghetti squash? And then, um, and then hopefully I'll be able to talk to you in a little box down in the bottom. So I'd love to know as well, have you ever cooked spaghetti squash? And if so, what did you do? All right, I'd love to know what did you do? What might be some of your favorite ways to cook it? I will do my best to be looking at your comments uh, about that. Uh, let's see. Oh, Julie. Uh, hey, Renee, good to see you here. I see your comment here, Julie, that says, thanks for the reminder to be arms open wide to receive God's love. Absolutely. To receive it because we talked before that receiving is a very active thing. Let me try to make sure that this is in the right spot for you. Okay. That receiving is active. Now, this is our spaghetti squash. It's already been cooked. Here's my favorite way to cook it. I literally roast the whole thing whole. There's a lot of things out there that will tell you to cut it in half beforehand, you know, put it upside down in a thing of water, and then bake it. Oh my gosh, a spaghetti squash is so rigid and so hard when you cut it raw that I feel like I've, I've seriously almost want to cut off my own thumbs on accident because it's so hard. So what I have found is that I go ahead and cook it whole, and then, let me bring this one to you so you can see, so then you'll see that it's gonna have, once it's baked whole, I cook it 400 degrees for between probably 35 to 40 minutes or so. And you're gonna rotate it halfway through and then you're gonna wanna push on it and you'll kinda see that it's gonna have a little give, almost like a ripe avocado, okay? So it has a little give to it and then that's how you know that it's gonna be, it's good to go. So then you can pull it out of the oven, okay? So this is what it looks like before you've taken the seeds out and you'll see that the seeds kind of look like pumpkin seeds. All right, so basically you just wanna take a fork or a spoon and you're gonna scoop out all the seeds and then what you're left with is like this one, I've already taken them out, okay? So literally, we're just gonna shred it. Like it's just so beautiful and easy to shred once it cools down a little bit. And then we're gonna head over to the kitchen and I will show you um, the three different ways that we're going to be cooking it tonight. So this is all you do. You shred it. Now what I like to do is to, wait, let me see some more comments here. Oh, Leslie says once, uh, you cooked it once and you used garlic olive oil. That sounds wonderful. That sounds like one of the, the easy ones that we're going to do today has garlic, tomatoes, and basil in it. And we're probably going to start with that one, just so you know. Babe, we're going to start with the Italian one. And um, Julie says, you ate it plain with some butter, salt, and pepper, but you want something new. Okay, perfect, Julie. You're going to have three super easy ways. So what I do is I shred it all up, and now I can literally just add it into anything else that I want. So we're going to head over to the stove top, and I'm going to show you just some tomatoes that have been um, cooking up over there in some garlic and some oil. And we're literally just gonna take a scoop of this and add it to it and uh, saute it together. That's how I like to do it. We saute it all together. Are you ready, babe? We're gonna head over to the other, the other one. Let me kind of put this off to the side. Okay, you ready? Going to Italian? Yeah, we're doing Italian and we're gonna head over to the stove. Um. Caitlin says, I love spaghetti squash so much. Me too. Hey, Lois. Great to see you, Lois, from Florida. I know it's really late where you're at over there, uh, but great to see you from Florida. Are you ready, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm heading over to the other one. Yeah. Just. Yeah, go ahead. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so what you can see here is I've taken... Sorry, here's getting a little dry, but I've taken some baby tomatoes that I just chopped in half and they've been sauteed already in garlic, salt and pepper. And we're just gonna add some of our spaghetti squash here, okay? 
We mix it all around and get a little bowl. So we're sauteing it up. Everything that we're doing tonight is just easy to be sauteed all together. You could also add sun-dried tomatoes, which are my absolute favorite. Sun-dried tomatoes. You can add some Italian seasoning in here. And now, I'm gonna put these over into this bowl. And then we're going to top it with some fresh basil. Okay. All right. So let's head over back to this other camera, babe. <laughs> I'm, I'm changing things up on my husband. So until he's ready, this is basically what this one is looking like. And we're going to top it with fresh basil. And if you have chicken, you could add it, add chicken to that as well and add whatever protein you want. Tell okay. me whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to top it with some basil. Wait, did you want to split screen or picture in picture? Ah, that's okay. I'm going to head back to the, um, I'm going to head back to the stove in just a second. So we're topping it with basil and there we go. Saute tomatoes, garlic, Italian seasoning, and topped with fresh basil. Add some protein, add some chicken to it if you want. Oh my gosh, it just tastes so amazing. It's so fresh, so easy. And there we go. Okay. Number one is done. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to make a peanut sauce. Okay, and we're gonna do a Thai style, all right? Thai style. So whenever you want, babe, you can switch it over to the, the stove again, and I'll head back over there. Okay, ready. All right, let me see. Okay. All right, so now, and did you put up the peanut sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're making a peanut sauce. So we've got some creamy peanut butter. And we're gonna add a little bit of tamari or soy sauce. And you've got the recipe, I believe, right? Yes, okay, you've got the full recipe there. So you can see everything that goes into this. Right now I'm just gonna make it real quick for you and kind of improvise a little bit. This peanut butter that we're using already already has some honey in it, otherwise I would have added some honey. And then what else do we have? Honey, a little bit of lime. Let me squeeze some lime in there for a second. Now, you can see that what I'm making for you guys tonight clearly is just a single serving. So I'm not making the whole thing. So let me get a lime real quick. Squeeze that in there. A little bit of lime juice. We're gonna squeeze some fresh lime on top of the spaghetti squash itself. Now you see how it's starting to thin out. It's gonna be a real great, amazing, creamy sauce. Now let me add the spaghetti squash to it. So we're gonna take our spaghetti squash that we were shredding up before, we're gonna to toss it right in there and coat it with this peanut sauce, okay? So, Let's just mix it all around. This is gonna be, if you like Thai flavors, this is what you're gonna want. Okay, babe, if you wanna switch it over to the other camera and do picture in picture, that Good would to be go. super great. Yep, whenever. You ready? Yep. Okay, let me get the other bowl. And here we go. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, perfect. So now we have our spaghetti squash with our peanut sauce. Hey, Abigail. Hey, Jenny. Great to see you, ladies. Now, to make this Thai, you've got this one here too. To make it Thai, we've got our peanut sauce already. We're going to top it with some fresh carrots. You can do chopped peanuts or chopped cashews. Okay. Some fresh cilantro. I'm gonna do another squeeze of lime to really brighten it up. You know what would be amazing on this too is if you just added in some sauteed shrimp as well. So you could literally in the same pan that you're cooking the peanut sauce, just cook up some shrimp as well because they cook up like in two minutes. You're not gonna burn the peanut sauce and then you can have a protein with it as well. I've also got some other options for you that you can do with, um, 
uh, bean sprouts and just you know you can do radishes anything else you want to liven it up and to give it that wonderful Thai flavor with those bright crunchy elements to it that's what that's all you need so that's awesome so our final one how you guys doing out there you love Thai flavors Julie that's so awesome that's wonderful um, let's see babe at the top of the screen will you hit the AF button at the very top is it, yeah, hit that one because it's, um, it should help the cameras not to be, we're, we're still working on all of our technical aspects here. It, it should help them just not to um, continuously go in and out of focus. So I, I apologize for that. All right, ladies. So the last thing we're going to do is a carbonara, okay? So I'm going to head back to the stove and show you the carbonara. So carbonara flavors, we're going to be using the pancetta for the salty meat element pancetta um, it's a it's um, like an it's Italian meat and then we're gonna mix up egg yolk and some Parmesan cheese and it's gonna be super rich and creamy totally amazing so I'm gonna head over to the stove tell me whenever you're ready babe yep okay go ahead all right, so what you can see here is I've already crisped up the pancetta. And again, like I said, these are just individual servings. If I was making a huge batch for like a whole spaghetti squash, I would have a heck of a lot more in here, but this is just to show you. So it's kind of like this wonderful Italian bacon. So this has been crisped, crisped up and sauteed with um, just garlic. And then we're gonna add our spaghetti squash to it, okay? And we're gonna add the egg yolk and the Parmesan cheese. So I've already whisked up this egg yolk, okay? So just the yolk, you don't want the full egg. You want the creaminess of the yolk. So we're just gonna add this in here. And you want your egg to be room temperature. Room temperature, because if you do a cold egg into a hot pan, then you're gonna get scrambled eggs. But our goal is not to get scrambled eggs. Our goal is just to get a really wonderful velvety texture from the egg yolk into the carbonara, okay? So you want a room temperature egg that you're already ready to go. And then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese to it as well. I don't typically do things with too much dairy, but for now, that's how we're gonna do it. And it's gonna just be a wonderful, all these wonderful rich flavors. When I made all these last week, the one that you guys didn't get to see, when I made all of these last week, this was my dad's favorite one was the carbonara. So let me just put this into this pan for you. Okay, and let's go ahead and flip back over to the other side. All right. Whenever you're ready, perfect, hey. All right, so let's see what we got. Here's the carbonara one, okay? And super simple. It was just the pancetta, the egg yolk, the um, Parmesan cheese. If you wanna make it spicy, you can do some of the crushed red pepper, and it's just gonna be creamy and velvety. And so there we basically go. Let's see, can you show the bottom screen one more time, or is it already on? It's on. It's already on, okay, so here, let me see if you can see that, is our three flavors that we did today. We focused on the Italian traditional with tomato, basil, garlic. You can add some chicken or whatever protein to it. Hey Pam, it does sound yummy. Everything here is completely yummy. Then we have the Thai style. And so that one is going to give you um, the crunchiness and the brightness from the fresh crunchy carrots and the cilantro and the, the nuts and then the lime juice. And then of course now we have our super luxurious, very velvety carbonara with the pancetta, the egg and the Parmesan cheese. So, so there we go. So let's head back to, um, can you just do just the main screen then? Perfect, so there we go, wonderful. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, so these are just, three easy ways. I'm telling you, spaghetti squash is so insanely versatile. It is my favorite thing. Like 
You can kind of take the Thai inspired one that we did and you can make it like a pad Thai flavor, just changing a few elements here and there. There's a million things that you can do with spaghetti squash, but I want you to understand that how you know when it's cooked correctly. I've kind of worked out to like about 15 minutes per pound of a spaghetti squash. It's gonna be give and take based on your own, your own oven, of course but about 15 minutes per pound. So for this one, it was about 40 minutes or so. And you rotate it halfway through, just roast it whole, chop it open, scoop out the seeds and shred it up. And when you touch it, it should feel soft like an avocado. And then that's kind of how you know, like, okay, it's cooked inside. If it still feels rock hard, then it needs more time because you can overcook it and you can undercook it. Okay, yeah, can you bring that over? I wanna show them a few more things as we're wrapping up. Thank you. So there we go. Hey, Anna, great to see you here as well. Love it. Why is that not wanting to stay? There we go. Sorry, getting my computer figured out. There we go. So much better. Okay, wonderful. So that's basically it tonight, ladies. Thank you so much for being here with me. And uh, I wanted to share with you a few things. First and foremost, when the video is ended, make sure that you click get notifications so that you know when we go live. Mark it on your calendars. It's Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And I will schedule a week ahead so that you can click get reminder on the scheduled video for next week. And then Facebook will remind you when we go live just to make it a little easier. But um, great to have you here, Anna. I love, love, love it. I know that you love spaghetti squash as well. So you're gonna wanna go back and catch whatever you might've missed for the three easy ways to make it taste completely different every time. And it's so good. So a few other things that I wanted to uh, just remind you of is that if you're not yet subscribed, you definitely wanna check out the Healthy Christian Women Facebook group and the podcast. The podcast is completely amazing. We release episodes at the beginning of every week, and we just had our 26th episode earlier this week, and God is just doing amazing things through this podcast. So you want to get involved in the podcast, you can find it at healthychristianwomen.com, and then you can find it on iTunes or Spotify or wherever iHeartRadio, wherever you listen to podcasts, you can definitely find it there. And then come be a part of our Facebook group. We have an incredible, international Facebook group. It is so much fun and God is working in these lives of these women's. We do devotionals every weekday morning and uh, we're just doing life together online all over the world. It's so amazing. So I'd love to have you be a part of that. All right. And let me see. Join us next week as well. Next week, what we're going to be doing is we're talking about Ephesians chapter one, verses five through seven. The theme is that you are accepted. You are accepted in Christ and the healthy food we're going to be cooking is overnight chia seed pudding. And so there's multiple ways that we can make chia seed pudding as well. Same thing as spaghetti squash. We can make it so diverse and so wonderful and yummy uh, that you definitely want to join us for that. And so we'll be doing overnight chia seed pudding. And let me see what else I've got. Okay, perfect. And so that's basically wrapping it up. Let me see if there's any questions. Again, this is Dr. Melody Stevens with Fit Plus Faith. You're watching the Feeding His Temple Body and Soul Facebook Live show. And uh, let me see. I don't see any other. Lois says, awesome visiting. Thanks for the recipes. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. There's just a little bit of a delay. There we go. All right, ladies, no questions for me to answer. Just definitely wanted to, uh, to let you know the other things that you can get involved in. I would love your help to continue to spread this message of what we're doing here with the Healthy Christian Women and with the podcast and the Facebook Live show and share it with your friends and family, whoever you think is going to be interested in it. All right. So you are loved. God loves you so much. I really encourage you to be meditating and praying over the verses we talked about today. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 and 39. How amazing is the love of God. No matter where you go, he will find you and seek you out. He loves you so much. He just wants us to receive that love in return. So incredible, relentless, relentless love. So, all right, everybody, that's all I've got for you today. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I can't wait to see those of you that are gonna try these recipes. And, um, and to hear how it goes for you. I'm sure we'll do spaghetti squash again in the future because like I said, there's a million ways to do it, but I wanted to start you off on the right foot with some really home run recipes that are easy to do and gonna taste totally amazing. 
All right. I love you. Blessings upon you in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye.